الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين أما بعد. Today I want to discuss an issue that has been brought to my attention by one of the questioners. Actually, two three people have approached me asking the same thing, and I felt that it needs to be explained, especially with the people who are living in the Western uh, countries. Uh, well, not really Western, more like higher latitudes. Uh, most of us are coming from um, equatorial regions and hence uh, we don't tend to find this difference uh, that that much in our time zone over there especially because of the solar movement over there is uh, very uh, it's is more regular uh, in nature than it is in the higher latitudes um, we also tend to find out that in the winters we have very short, short days over here which is also because of the solar movement and everything now how does that affect us is with regards to the timings of the salah we're not talking about the different timings of the fajr salah or the isha salah and the twilight that is probably a separate discussion altogether what we are more interested in is more um, simpler issue rather um, a, a very more generic issue which tends to hype itself up in the winters as we tend to see more and more people opting to offer their Asar Salah at the earlier time that is the first shadow. As far as the Fiqhi issues are concerned with regards to it, I'm not going to go into it. There is an, uh, enough discussion on this issue in the books. The Ayma Thalasa along with the Im uh, Imam Muhammad and Imam Abu Yusuf they all agree to a first shadow, one shadow for the beginning of the Asr Salah and the ending of the Zuhr Salah whereas Imam uh, Abu Hanifa Rahimullah he opts for the second shadow double shadow for the starting of the Asr Salah and that is the Mufta Bihi that is the Fatwa according to the Hanafi Amatab that being said um, normally I have seen over the last year and a half many people coming to me and asking me why can they not pray along with the Shafi brothers who are praying at the first shadow and uh, again the Fiki issue of it is a separate thing um, I probably explain it in my Fiki class uh, all along and everything what I want to uh, focus more on today is with regards to the calculation method because a few people came to me and uh, they brought this contention saying that you say that the second shadow is the Hanafi time but I look at my shadow at the Han at the uh, at the second shadow time which is the 2.30 as per the calendar uh, which is put up in the masajid and everything and I see that my shadow is almost three or four times my size how is that possible? You are saying that that is the second shadow time and my shadow is actually three or four times. So uh, obviously looking at that and uh, reverse engineering it basically, um, I should be allowed to pray with the Shafis because most probably at that time it's a single shadow. Or if not single shadow, looking at this measure, it might be actually a double shadow at that time. I should be able to pray with that time. So I wanted to explain this. And there are two main uh, contentions or confusions in this issue, in this mas'ala, which uh, the laymen have, which tend to um, bring itself in this manner. But before doing that and before trying to explain this whole mas'ala, I wanted to give some information or some uh, understanding into the more scientific basis uh, of this calculation as well. Now, the first contention that comes about in this regard is with regards to the movement of the sun. We tend to have an assumption. We tend to have this uh, perception that the sun has a very specified movement through, uh, throughout the horizon. Now, that is not really the case. Even in the equatorial areas, if you look up over here, these are the equatorial areas, right? Which are mostly like India, Pakistan, um, Middle East, Northern Africa, Central America, places like that. <coughs> Even in these areas, 
द सन मूवमेंट थ्रू आउट द ईयर इज डिफरेंट राइट वी परसीव इट कमिंग एज एंड वी एक्चुअली से इट इन आवर लैंग्वेज एज वेल द सन कम फ्रॉम द ईस्ट एंड सेट्स इन द वेस्ट बट इट्स नॉट एज सिंपल एज दैट इन फैक्ट द सन पोजिशन ऑफ सन राइज एंड थ्रू आउट द ईयर दैट चेंजेस right it changes uh, as the seasons change or as the year changes not only that uh, the sunset position also changes along with it right uh, how does that make a difference for us not not so much in the sense when we are in the equatorial region but when we are in in um, higher latitudes right uh, then we realize that this makes a huge difference right and the second thing is we have a perception that um looking at the start of the zohar sala that starts with the zenith a zawal um we tend to think that the sh- that is the time when the sun is at uh, uh, on our heads because we were told like that you know that the uh, the zenith or the zawal is when the sun is on the head meaning if the sun is on the head then the shadow should be absolutely zero or minimal right and this is what what this picture over here is showing if you look at it carefully that's the shadow sun is right on the top right and the shadow being casted onto the ground is absolute zero i have set this dial at 12 pm right and the, we are looking at in the category of may june july like real dead um uh, summer time right now if you look at the latitude and if you know something about the latitudes you will realize that this is a specific latitude 21.4 degrees which is actually the latitude for makkah al mukarrama now if i were to run this okay this is an animation to help you understand this issue better if i were to run this animation you will realize why our perception is that the zenith is actually at the um a point where the shadow is zero let's run it okay and you see this is showing we have gone from may to july at 12 o'clock right this is the shadow which we be casted at 12 o'clock throughout may to july right and you can see <coughs> the shadow is zero however that is that does not remain the case uh this is now this is our misconception as we go into the winter times you will realize how this shadow changes okay let's continue august september october november right now you will start to realize at that time the shadow is actually changing right so while we go into the december sometimes in the later december and we pause it there now we realize that at the same latitude that is makkah al mukarrama in the same time in december the shadow at the time of zenith is almost equal to one person like one time and this is a new um breakthrough right this is this is against our common understanding or common perception at this at this time now believe me zenith is not really the time when the sun is on our heads rather the uh, um zenith is that point when the sun has the highest uh, altitude or the is it is at the as its highest movement movement uh, or highest uh, place throughout its movement uh, uh, in the in that day right now and i need to make a disclaimer here i have set it at 12 o'clock we we know that the time of zenith actually changes right it actually changes throughout the uh, year so this this is more or less for the equatorial region more or less the time when the zenith comes is around 12 o'clock around 11 11:50 11 11:55 somewhere around there <coughs> so that that disclaimer is there now in our in the first part of this um multi part video i wanted to bring this one point to attention the misconception with regards to the zenith that zenith is not the point where our shadow is zero 
okay now this gives us the idea that if the Zoho time is starting at the time when the shadow is one one times the length of the actual object then obviously the time for Zohar is going to be more than that right that being said let us define this shadow that is at the moment of this zenith the shadow that is at the moment of this zenith is called phi right it's called phi and um, in the books it will come as phi is the well right and i normally intend to call it in my classes as uh, mr phi right it's easier to say that way so mr phi at this time is one shadow now we when we calculate the time of the solars we will calculate it in in inches centimeters or uh, measurements of of length because as it will realize we will realize uh, throughout the time it's going to be somewhere very small right very small but it's, it's going to be there so we need to calculate that once we do calculate that we, this is going to be our um, that portion of the shadow that we have to deduct it from the fern, uh, one shadow or the two shadow so basically before I conclude this video we have come to two issues right number one point is that the movement of the Sun changes and uh, the, uh, which means that actually the shadow at the time of the Zenith is not always zero right since the shadow is different our time calculation will have to change because of that and the Fiqhi Qutub they mentioned that they were they were not shooting out of their uh, pockets right they understood and they did experimentation with that and they calculated the times according to that number two what we need to understand over here is that the definition or the common understanding of the formula for calculating the asr salah whether it is according to, to the shafi or the aima thalatha or whether it is according to imam abu hanifa rahimullah it doesn't matter that is incorrect as we understand it is not one shadow or two shadows this is the misconception the actual formula of calculating the time is one shadow plus the fay az zawal now you know what fay az zawal is what mr fay is right so one shadow plus the fay az zawal or according to imam abu hanifa two shadows plus the fay az zawal right so you have to calculate this fay and then add it to the one shadow or two shadows to figure out which point is going to be inshallah we are going to stop this video here right and the next video we will discuss how that changes according to the different latitudes